everybody, this is Finch. I decided to make a new time lapse video for you guys. It's pretty short, but um, I hope you enjoy it. This is a picture of an oarfish that I did on a Twitch stream a little while ago. It was supposed to be uh, just a warm up picture, but I ended up really liking it and making it into a Patreon badge and a sticker and all that jazz. So first things first, I grabbed a picture from Google of an oarfish. Um, I wanted to find something that showed me the anatomy and how the creature, uh, its body moves when it's in motion. So I couldn't really find a good realistic photograph of that happening, so I grabbed this illustration. And here I'm going in with a light brush and just doing my first initial sketch. Um, I do three, I usually do three sketches, uh, three layers of sketches. One is just to get the basic foundation of what I want, the shapes and everything. Um, so that's the sketch. I'm just trying to figure out what I want the body to be doing. Um, I know I wanted it to be sort of a dynamic pose and have it sort of wrap around itself. So this is the second phase of sketch. Um, this is where I've I've put in all of the information that I need um, in the initial sketch, and this is just me figuring out where everything needs to go and sort of finalizing everything before I move on to the absolute final line work, which is going to be a lot smoother than this um, and cleaner. Sometimes I'll change things up in this phase of sketch, but as long as it looks neat and I can understand what's happening, then we're all good. Now I'm just putting in the basic color. Um, blue and red is the color of Orifish, if you guys didn't know, it's pretty cool fact. So now this is the final um, line art layer that I'm doing. I'm using a uh, a very like blocky brush that doesn't have um, pressure sensitivity because I like the kind of bold marker look for this. And I'm using the smoothing option on Photoshop. Um, it's at the top next to the flow and opacity options. Um, I didn't used to like this feature when it first came out, but it if you can get used to it, it really does help you get a really clean line. apologize for the pausing every now and then. I'm, uh, it's a mixture of me interacting with the stream and chatting and also looking for different um, reference photos that kind of give me more information about the specific spot that I'm drawing instead of the one that I one that I pick doesn't give me all the information so.
That's probably my favorite part of the piece. I like that little fin that comes off. It's such a cool little shape. And now I'm going in with a slightly smaller brush, but the same brush, um, just to give, just to do a little, <laughs> gave him a little angry eyebrow there. Um, just to do a little detail on the skin of uh, the face and the uh, more detailed anatomy. And now I'm just going in and making sure all the colors and the lines and everything looks clean. So oarfish are more of a deep sea dwelling creature. Um, they're pretty interesting. They're very weird looking. Um, but I think a lot of people know about them from Animal Crossing, because that's one of the things you can catch in the game. Um, and I've been playing a lot of it recently, so uh, I got inspired to do this piece. But if, uh, if this creature interests you, I, I definitely recommend looking more into it, because they, they're pretty wild. So now I'm pulling up a um, another image that I did of a sun, an ocean sunfish, um, and I'm just using this as reference for myself to stay in a similar style um, from from what I did before here. And now I'm making um, a really subtle gradient in the colors of the body. Um, from the head to the tail, it's like a dark bluish gray to a lighter bluish gray, but uh, it ended up being a little too subtle for me, so I did kind of bump that up near the end, putting in some dots here. And then next, what I'm going to be doing is putting in some shadows and highlights. And what I do for that is I make a new layer, um, I attach it to the color layer, and I make it an overlay layer. So I can just go right in. Um, I don't have to do any. I don't have to do any cleanup or anything. Um, and those colors just interact with each other in uh, a really cool way that I like. Um, so I'm just taking like a blue and a red and I'm making shadows and highlights uh, different patterns on the fins and such to give the piece a little more interest. And I'm taking um, that pink and just putting in some highlights around the, the face and the rest of the body just to make things pop and give it even a little more interest, more stuff to look at.
So here I'm just checking the stroke. I put a white stroke around um, a lot of uh, the badges and stickers that I make. Um, and just checking uh, to see what I need to clean up. Sometimes it, there's a l couple things that you miss and you want to make it smooth. So that's what I'm doing here. And then the last thing I think I do here is um, I make another overlay layer just to give this, the front of the head a little more, um, just separate it a little bit from the rest of the body because I feel like it was a little too flat. So I wanted that gradient to be a little less subtle. That's the final piece. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. If you have any feedback, please let me know. Um, if you'd like to catch a Twitch stream, you can find the information in the info below the video. Um, but yeah, I really like this piece. I like this style. It's fun to figure out what kind of shapes I should use and see how simple I can make it. Um, it's just fun, explorative. I like it a lot. Uh, if you like this work um, and this video, you can support me on Patreon for more videos like this. You can follow me on my socials, which are also down below. And yeah, that's it. Y'all have a good day. <laughs>